And here's some entertainment. Water could act as either an acid or a base, depending on what is being dissolved in it. So here, for example, here's an acid being dissolved in water. Well, if that's an acid, I'm forcing this to act as a base. This is going to donate an H+. When it does, it's going to end up here. It's going to end up with a negative charge because before it was neutral and it's giving up H+, so now it's negative. That's your acid. That's your conjugate base. This is being forced to accept that H+, forming the hydronium ion. And so when this is acting as a base, on the other side you will see H3O+, as a conjugate acid. So just in general, acid plus the water becomes, gets into an equilibrium with the conjugate base and the hydronium ion. On the other hand, let's see it act the other way. If I put in ammonia, that is going to act as a base. That is forcing this to act as an acid. For it to act as an acid, it has to give up an H+, leaving it as an OH-, minus, the conjugate base. This will be the conjugate acid because now it has an H plus more than the original. And our general equation then is that if a base is dissolved in water, it will form an equilibrium with its conjugate acid and hydroxide ions. Time to do one of these on the paper again. So we're going to look at this acetic acid and we're going to dissolve it in water. So we don't have the whole equation. We're going to have to work on it. So star five, we have acetic acid. All right. I might write this in more than one way. Let me write it the way it looks right now. Here's CH3COOH. I can see those units right there. So if it's going to be, act as an acid, it's this hydrogen that gets away. And it's going to get away. We're putting it in water. We've already identified that this is what is getting away. So clearly this is the acid and that forces the water to be acting as a base. That's an acid. It's giving up an H+. So I'm going to end up with CH3COO with a minus sign. That's your conjugate to this acid. So it's a conjugate base. And meanwhile, this is, has to accept that proton. When it does, it ends up with a positive charge on it, and it's going to be conjugate. Ah, I can spell, I swear I can. Conjugate acid. So you'll notice on each side you have an acid and a base. On the left side, it's just identified acid and base. The right side is always the conjugates. Okay? Now, you might, you know, Written here, we have it that way. Written here is another way to write it. Acetic acid is often written this way. That doesn't give you any idea about what well, the... That's obvious. Yeah, it doesn't give you any idea about what the con connections are and what the, what the molecule actually looks like. But it does tell you, this is the H I'm just going to remove. So let me write the same thing. The H, C2, H3, O2 in water forms an equilibrium that's going to leave you with C2H3O2 minus and create hydronium ions. And we're still going to be identifying this is the acid, this is the base, conjugate base, conjugate acid. You're always just looking for pairs. This differs from this one by having one more hydrogen and a plus sign compared to nothing. Okay, so that's the idea behind identifying them so that you can understand what's happening. Now, relative strengths, okay? If we look at hydrochloric acid, we see, oh, oh my gosh. Yes, that Ka is huge. It's almost a million. Okay, if I were to write this, writing it this way is kind of silly. It's, it's, it's very much 
that the reverse reaction essentially does not happen. So I might even write this as a one-way trip, goes to completion sort of thing. But now we're talking about acids and bases and conjugates, right? So we have to stop and think about this. If this is such a strong acid, and I'm identifying this as the conjugate base, it must be extremely weak because it's not going that direction hardly at all. And I'll let that sink in for a minute. The bottom line is strong acids have very weak conjugate bases. And similarly, strong bases have very weak conjugate acids. Which leads us to three levels now. Strong, weak, and very weak 